Good evening, folks. Joe with Feral Woodcraft here. Um, kind of a cop out, I guess. I'm on my porch. It's raining, but uh, what I uh, want to talk about today actually has to do with water. So uh, I can stay dry and talk to you all I want to, I guess. So anyway, um, this is not really a review. It's a comparison. Uh, I've never done it before. I'm curious. I've actually never used either one of these products before. Um, so uh, I'm gonna. I was gonna try it and see how it worked and I figured I'd bring you guys along. So, <clears throat> not too long back I found these on sale. These are Weathermax um, uh, all weather notepads. I found in Lowe's they were on sale for $2 a pop. I went ahead and picked up a couple. Uh, you know, come in handy I guess. Um, but uh, I guess they're a, a competitive product to uh, what we all have probably heard of. It's the Ride in Rain notebooks which I've never used. In fact I've only had this one for two days I guess. I was in tractor supply picking up some dog food and I saw these at the checkout counter at the little kiosk there and I thought hey you know let's try it out. These were four dollars. Uh, no actually I think this was five dollars. It was four ninety nine. Um, it was uh, pretty expensive but you know I figured you know it's uh, if we're gonna try the, the weather max out let's try it next to the real thing. Uh, pony up the dough and see which one works better. So like I said let's bring you guys along. Um, let me get a little bit closer and show you guys what I'm talking about here before we get on to the actual test. Okay, this is the right and rain. You know, I've, I've heard about these things for a couple years. Um, you know, uh, just basically you're supposed to be able to write on it in pencil or ink and it get wet and it uh, not mar and run and ruin. This is what I'm at. A little bit bigger, longer, actually it's a little bit more narrow, I think, by a hair, not bad, um, not appreciably more narrow. Um, I have opened them both, they both have grid lines, the Weathermax has a little bit more pronounced, um, grid lines aren't really coming up too well on camera, I don't think, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, one thing I do like about this Weathermax is that it does come, and I have tried this several times. I'm sure the, the times you could reseal this would be, un, would be limited, but it does come in a pouch, uh, just a cellophane pouch, like what you'd get a pack of cigarettes in or something. Um, but this uh, glue they have right here does reseal fairly well. So <clears throat> if you so choose, um, it's kind of cheesy of an idea, but you could put the notepad back in there for just an extra layer of protection. Um, you, that would only last a limited number of times. I would assume anyway. I haven't tried it. And those grid lines show up a lot better. So, just to keep this quick, those are the, the paper styles. Get my shadow out of the way. Paper styles next to each other. Um, the grid lines on this, the, the vertical lines are dotted, whereas this one's just solid, just like grid paper. Like what you'd use in school. And, uh, Basically, what I'm going to do here, let's see what time it is. Alright, it is 6.46. I'm going to write it in ink, pencil, and orange sharpie on each. Six, just so you see, six forty six. Oh, wow. Well, the Weathermax takes the ink a lot better. Question is, does it run in water or not? It feels to be a lot softer paper. I don't know. We'll see. Just for grins. F. W. Farrell. Okay. 
Like I said, just for grains. No particular reason. Alright. Let's find a place to put these in the rain. Alright, well, this thing's sound, it's windy as well. I can't guarantee these things will blow away. And I hope this is in frame. Tear that out. Tear that out. And I'll tell you right off, the riding rain is a lot thicker. Um, but it feels a lot, lot a lot more like normal paper. Whereas the Weathermax feels uh, silkier. Uh, it jogs my memory of something, but I can't quite place what it is or what kind of paper. But anyway, I'm going to leave these for an hour. And come back. And uh, we'll see which one looks better. So, here we go. They're both in the water, uh, and they're arguing here. They want to stick together, actually. So, anyway, there we go. We have the Riding Rain right here, and we have the Weather Max right here. So let these babies soak, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, one hour turned into two. It is 8:28. So they say. 828. So, like I said, turned into two. Still in here. Both of these. Dig them out and see what we got. Alright. Do the ride on rain first. The riding hasn't lost itself, hasn't bled, hasn't gone anywhere. The paper, you can tell it's been wet, but it's still really stout, and I bet you if it dries out, it'll be perfectly fine. None of the riding rubs off. Still very stout, very stable. So I'd say that's a definite pass. The Weathermax. Much more readable, but that was the same at the beginning. None of it rubs off. Whether pencil, ink pen, or Sharpie. And it tears easier but it tore easier at the beginning. So, you know, both of them pass. I would say either one. Um, I'm gonna go with the Weathermax just because it's cheaper and bigger and with clearer grid lines, but you know, both of them are valid solutions in my mind. So, uh, there you have it, guys.